Mitch Hawes, this is Skid Hall, the Ford Courier Ute, really struggling to get that instant smoke up. Very, very close to the wall as well. You can see that it's very slippery out there. Mitch Hawes got the LS1 on board. It's an aspirated setup, not quite like the blown setup that we saw of Fred before, which really puts that torque to the ground and he's able to build up those smoke quantities. So Mitch needs to slow down and let the tyres build up some heat in these wet conditions out here. Driving a little bit fast, he's going to get some reasonable scores for his driving control, but unfortunately not the, the smoke content that the judges would be looking for at this stage. Another driver that made the trip all the way up to Cairns for Tropical Meltdown, doing, I guess, a bit of a uh, Queensland swing up and down the coast, these guys. Nice work, gets it rotated nicely through once, and oh, oh big look at that. that! Goodness me, the right-hand side of the engine comes alight. That has let go an oil line or a fuel line or something like that, casually gets wow. out of the car. That, was, the whole car's on fire. Fire is all over it, there was fire coming. Look at that it's in the footwell. That is one serious, serious fire. Man, it's gone through the so-called firewall. Yeah, well, that's what they're there for. And so uh, that was nasty stuff. Let's check this out once again. You can see the oil down the bottom of the motor first, and it all went up. Yeah, that's. I reckon that may have been a transmission line. It's really hard to tell. There are fuel lines back there. That's lit up really quickly. It's hard to tell what it is, but that is a serious fire. And Mitch, he had it all under control. He got out of the car like he just popped the tyres, and it was just a Sunday drive. <laughs> It had some pretty hot feet in there. You could definitely tell that it started towards the right side of the motor. Here it is once again. Look towards the right side of the engine. It actually starts underneath the car, really. Yeah, it does. It might be a transmission line down there. Man, it's hard to tell.